Good afternoon. Today we will be studying part 3 of chapter 2, Nature of Proposition. Let us understand why there is a need for symbolization of propositions in logic. First, an argument has propositions that are expressed in natural language. But symbolization helps to reason correctly. Natural language has certain defects. It contains vague and ambiguous words, misleading idioms and confusing metaphorical style. Whereas the artificial language which uses symbols is free from such defects. To determine the validity of an argument, logic uses certain method, but this method cannot be applied directly to the propositions with natural language. Deductive logic is concerned with the form of an argument. Logicians have to develop special techniques to bring out the form of propositions. In artificial language, it is done by symbolization. Use of symbols is convenient and advantageous for better understanding of arguments and drawing inferences from it. Now, what is the significance of symbolization of propositions in propositional logic? First thing, it helps to focus on what is important in an argument and ignore the unnecessary details. Thus, helps to decide the validity of an argument easily. Secondly, it helps to understand the logical structure of propositions and arguments more clearly. Thirdly, it prevents confusion of vague and ambiguous words. Fourth, the symbols are a kind of short forms to longer expression of inferences in natural language. Now let us understand the symbols used in propositional logic. First is propositional constant. It is a symbol that stands for specific or particular proposition as a whole. It has definite meaning. And capital letters from English alphabets, capital A through capital Z, are used as propositional constants. We are free to use any propositional constant for symbolizing a proposition. When the argument contains two or more number of propositions, then we have to observe certain restrictions. First is that the same propositional constant should be used for symbolizing the same proposition if it occurs again in the same argument or compound proposition. Second, the same proposition constant cannot be used for different propositions in the same argument or in the same compound propositions. Let us take an example. Sahil will eat salad and sandwich. Symbolic form will be capital S and capital D. Here we are using capital S for Sahil will eat salad so we cannot use the same Capital S for Sahil will eat sandwich. Now we will come to second propositional variable. It is a symbol which stands for any proposition whatsoever. Its meaning varies from proposition to proposition as it substitutes any proposition. And small letters in English alphabets that is small p, q, R, S are used as propositional variables and propositional variables do not stand for any specific proposition but it only indicates the place so they are called placemakers or dummy letters. Now when the argument contains two or more number of propositions then we have to observe certain restrictions which are similar to that of a propositional constant. Let us take an example if P then Q not Q, therefore not P. Its substitution is if the figure is a triangle, then it has three sides. The figure does not have three sides, therefore the figure is not a triangle. Second, if you have password, then you can log on the network. You cannot log on the network, therefore you do not have a password. Your P stands for the figure is a triangle in the first argument. And it stands for you have password in the second argument. Q stands for it has three sides in the first argument. And you can log on the network in the second argument. Now we will be 
understanding what is propositional connective or truth functional logical operator propositional connective or logical operator is uh, are expressions which connect a proposition or propositions the propositional connective which connects or operates on only one proposition it is called as monadic propositional connective or logical operator not operates on only one proposition so it is called as monadic operator the propositional connective which connects or operates on two propositions is called dyadic or binary propositional connective or logical operator dyadic or binary operators are and either or if then if and only if then importance of brackets in symbolization let us see in languages punctuation is needed to clarify the meaning of complicated statements punctuation are marks such as comma full stop inverted comma semicolon question mark etc which are used in writing a language to separate sentences and their elements and make its meaning clear to the reader example although my train arrived late i missed it here we need to pause between the two statements so we, we use the punctuation mark comma and end of the statement we use full stop let us take um, why it is important in mathematics to avoid ambiguity and to make the meaning clear punctuation marks are also used in the form of brackets let us take an example 8 plus 7 into 9 when punctuated can be 8 plus 7 into 9 8 plus 7 is in the bracket. Here you must always remember board mass. B for bracket, O for off, D for division, M for multiplication, A for addition, and S for subtraction. In the first case, you will multiply first. In the second case, you will add first because it's in the bracket. So bracket you will solve first. Let's see. <clears throat> in logic. punctuation marks are equally important to make clear the complicated propositions in logic parentheses that is box brackets and braces are used as punctuation marks let us see what are parentheses it is a symbol which is a round bracket that is put round a word or a phrase or a statement you can see that it is in a small bracket p w h q Horseshoe R. So we have to solve the bracket first. Now we come to the second box bracket. It is a symbol which is used as a box bracket that is used to enclose words or figures in logic. It is used to group the expression that includes parentheses. So you can see that two small brackets are there. So to group them. we need to put them in a box bracket then we have braces it is a symbol flower bracket that is used to group expressions that are included in the box brackets and if you have a negation sign outside it we need to put it into a flower bracket that is braces thank you we'll continue in the next class